Welcome back to Mario Party, everybody! Uh, yeah, we're on the main menu. Normally I'd start these games directly into a party, but... As you know from the last game, the last game that I will definitely still talk about, I have enough coins and we have uh, played all the boards now. Which means we can buy this. The Magma Mountain Map. I have... It's been ages since I've been through this game. And I'm so glad to be doing it. We're buying the map. Now we have access to Bowser's Magma Mountain. Which is where we'll be going. I wish I could have bought more for the game. Like, I want those other dice blocks. But, hopefully I'll get enough money in this board to, you know, buy them. It is a darn shame. I wish I could have played this game with all the other features. But, I didn't. Because I had to save all the money for the map. So, once again, we play as Yoshi, and I... Ooh. Alright, I'm going to pick Mario... You know what? Hmm. Yeah, I'll pick Mario, Wario, and Luigi for this. All on hard. I will save... My squad- actually, you know what? No, because I'm saving my squadron for the last game. I will play as Yoshi. Mario and Peach will come back for this party alone. And I'll pick Wario. All on hard. And here we go. Bowser's Magma Mountain. This is a painful map. Between RNG shortcuts an RNG visit to Bowser, and the question mark spaces having one of the worst hazards of any any board, this is going to be a hard one. Now, granted, the board is, a, is straightforward. It's a one-way path. The only detours are all the shortcuts, which are completely optional. Um, it's just a matter of get to where you need to go. I'm going first again. This is nice. I like this. I prefer going... I love going first. Alright. So we're in for quite the ride, my friends. And these computers are on hard. That last game was an absolute claustrophobic of, of events. Like, the second half of that game was ballistic. Who knows how the hell this one's gonna go. So... First things first, I do not use these shortcuts very often, if at all. 10 coins for a 50% chance of actually succeeding is a pretty strong no thanks from me. CPUs, uh, hit or miss, I guess it really all depends on what they're, uh, where they are. Oof, rip Peach, but better you than me. After the last game, I'm holding no emotional attack. I I'm giving these computers no quarter. You guys were messing me up completely. Yeah, none of those CPUs were giving me any room. They were all getting in my way. So, <laughs> they ain't getting any mercy from me, fellas. Bring it on. Now, the th okay, so the thing about this map is Boo and Bowser are both a have a fun 50% chance of visiting either one of them. So, may hopefully... CPUs visit Bowser more, but I have, uh, strong doubts. I know, hard CPUs, I, I have a hard feeling, get a little bit luckier than they should. Alright, let's go, Yoshi. We gotta, we gotta play hardball here, buddy. Oh, let's go. Get a, a lead going. No wiping out, Yoshi. No wiping out. We're not, we're not just settling for a win. We're breaking that record, too. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go! Yeah! Beat that record! Whoop those CPUs! We got it! Let's go! We're gonna make some big... We're gonna make plays here. This is gonna be the best game. I'm gonna demolish these hard CPUs this time. This ain't gonna be a clutch win like last time. I did it. I already... Turn two, I've already done it. Alright, so here's the question mark effect for this, um, this board. 
Every single blue space turns red. It, the only blue spaces available are happenings or uh, chance time spaces, the mushroom spaces, and the one player minigame spaces. Other than that, every blue space turns red. Which means we go a full two turns of possibly losing more money than we'll ever gain. As you can plainly see, everyone's already hitting. It will, uh, I only have to go one turn, really. They all have to go two. Because it starts when I hit the question mark space, and then two turns after I hit it, it goes back to normal. So I realistically only have to suffer for one turn. Everybody else has to suffer for two. But that's the same for anybody who lands on the space itself. Out of my way. Mine. Make up your mind, you stupid squids. Get that other big one. I'm not taking my risk of that. Out of my way, Wario. Fine, I'll take the small one. They were fast, but I got the big one, so... I got two of the big ones, and that's usually what I go for. I'm still gonna get more than all of them. Oh, Peach didn't do that bad, but that's because she actually did get a big one as well. That's okay, though. 34 coins, that's all I need. Cause... Yeah, I'm gonna lose three here, but that's okay. I'm okay with losing three coins for one turn. Ooh. <laughs> no one's landing blue this time, ain't ya? Ain't ya? But look on the plus side, Peach, you have very little to lose right now. I'm okay with this. Oh, whoa, whoa, Wario, Wario, are you sure you got the money that you do? do you, are you sure you have the money for this? Yes, yeah, screw you. Now you've got nothing. You are going to have one coin to your name. That's Bowser's Magma Mountain for you. It'll take a lot from you. Although... I'd argue that this board is still easier than Luigi's Engine Room. Because Luigi's Engine Room, every single turn, something happens, and it can screw everything up. In this board, it's not that bad. Like, it takes a lot from you, sure, but it could be worse. Oh, boy. Come on. Bingo. I am constantly watching the CPU screens too because I want to see how close they are. Alright, we're, we're starting off good, but like again, never rest on your laurels. Like, you saw how fast I lost everything in that last game. That was, that was bonkers. One turn, I went from 150 coins to 7. It's just crazy. Also, they don't have any money. I would really like it if Peach could just pass the star. Okay, I, I'm okay with this as long as she doesn't get a lot of... Wow. I guess the game's not even having any bullshit from the CPUs. Okay. Um, Peach still won't have enough to afford the star even if we all win this, so it doesn't matter. I'm okay with this. Alright, now I get to be on the offense. Or I guess the, the, the offensive defense? Allow me to- I'll, I'll, I'll protect Mario, don't worry. I'm like the front hand, front end offense, let's go. Mario, don't be stupid. Oh, neither- I can't be stupid either. Okay. Oh, don't let him get cornered, guys. The unfortunate thing is Mario's not exactly the smartest bulb runner either. Uh-oh. Okay, there we go. Because he starts to avoid anybody who's possessed as well. And that causes his movement to be really weird. There we go. Okay, good job, Mario. I'd still like to believe I did pretty, pretty good on the offense. I did get caught twice, but I got freed, so it's all good. Alright. We're very cautious beginning. Not very fast, but it's okay. Alright, alright, alright. 
Damn it. All right, well, it's okay. Peach can just get a big number. Bypass that star. Mario's not a threat right now. Okay, that's good. I'll take that. She hit a half in space, though. God damn it. There goes the, there goes the blue of the world again. Bowser's having a field day with this one. I love these maps. I honestly... I want Mario Party Superstars to get DLC, and while I would love to see this map come back, I think Bowser Land would probably just be a better option. I want to see at least one more board from each game come back. Because, first off, Mario Party 3 needs some more rep. Uh, and, like, really, they've already wiped out a few, most of the boards I didn't really care for in the first two. If I were to pick the ideal three, it would obviously be Mario's Rainbow Castle, Bowser Land, and Spiny Desert. I just get a bunch of my favorites in there. Also, if she goes after me, I'm not going to be able to button match out of this. She's definitely... There is no way she's not going for me. Yeah... Yeah, no. At least, thank you. At least she left me with enough to buy the star. Yeah, CPU button mashing is almost impossible to get out of when they're at the higher difficulty. 19, goddamn. Ugh, that's not ideal. Big number. Okay, I'll take that. First star. This is what I need. I need stars. Because, like, I'm now in a position... Where I have to play, um, I have to play on my own time to get those 100 stars. And right now, all, with all the things I have to be, I should be doing, this is so hard. This is the, like, I honestly don't even know if I can do a first impression video or lasting impressions video by the end of the year. Like, I guess I just had the time last year to do it. I, I'm going to have to say there's no guarantee anymore. As much as I would love to do it annually, like, I just... I've been irresponsible with my time. I have, um... I still have two games to finish. I have to record all these games. Like, it... I honestly just don't know if I'll do it this year. I, I, I don't think it matters that much, but... I just don't have... I just don't have the time. I don't. And all the... Like, I'm working eight hours a day in almost every day. Like this, my, I'm work recording on a Sunday and this is the first, like my only day off since like Wednesday. And Wednesday I was also recording. So I just really don't have a lot of time to myself. My, my shifts are splat in the middle of my day. I'm working like 12 till seven, 11 to seven, three to 11. So it's like, I wake up at like 10 or 11. I, 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 my shifts are basically at the point where it's either I sacrifice some sleep because I'm going to I'm I, I'm going to use when like my last two days as an example. On Friday I worked 6 p.m. till 2 a.m. and then I worked 3 to 11 on Saturday. It would my choice was go to bed and sleep in and leave myself with three hours to myself. Or wake up early and sacrifice sleep because I had to go to bed at 2. Or like after 2. And then if I had woken up, I just woken up early, I just would have left with myself with less sleep. So my shifts are not exactly being friendly to my schedule. So it leaves me with very little time to myself. So I'm going to be 100% real. If you're watching this, if you get this far, I will definitely be making an update on this too. But... I don't know anymore if I will actually do a lasting impressions. Maybe it'll be very, very, very late. Like, who knows? If I ever do it, it could come out years from now. Who knows? It could come out next year. It could come out at the end of 2023. Who knows? If I do it, it won't be for quite some time. It guaranteed won't be at the end of this month. I don't even know if it'll be in January. I might just do it whenever I ever get the chance of finishing Sonic Frontiers and Mario and Rabbids, because those are really the only two games I have left to finish. And given everything that I, everything that's going on with how busy I am, I just don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. Maybe I'll put more effort into it when I take my channel break. Who knows? 
But for now, I don't know if anyone was even anticipating it, if anyone even cared, if anybody even watches this far into the video to even hear me say this. The, co the core point is, not a lot, it's not a guarantee anymore. I'm just too busy. With work, with just wanting to spend some time for myself. Like, the last few days, I was on a rampage with um, creative writing. I started a small little idea of my own, and I spent five hours typing, like, starting it. And the last few days, my shifts have been very distracted with that. So, there's a lot. I, I, there's a lot going on in my life. Yoshi, why weren't you moving? I was pressing the A button. Stopping me. Oh, I'm trying to go away from Mario. That's probably what it was. Let's get this one quick before Wario. Alright. Let's go with this. You can have that small one, I'll take this one. Peach was not helping Wario there either, let's be real. Alright, let's see how much we made, because I got the big one. 16, hell yeah, baby. I've made back most of my money that Peach stole, and now for the scary part. All right, no coins needed for this one, but... Oh, blessed we're safe. Okay, if we visit Bowser, we have a chance, a 50-50 chance of either losing 20 coins or a star. I'm pretty sure I don't need to be the one to say I don't want that to happen. Uh, Mario's approaching the star. I need to take some money from him. Because it's just the smartest thing. No long... Okay, fair enough. I guess that's viable. Whack a plant, whack a plant, whack a plant, please. Why do I keep getting Limbo Dance? This was boring. I don't like this mini game. Damn. You expect my big nose to fit under these, of these, li these fucking rods? I mean, they do. It does. I've done it many times already. Oof. Getting too low there. Playing this game dangerous. Let's go. Oh, we get the long version, too. We have to do all of these. There we go. I used to hate that minigame. Like, I hated going under that because I could never tell how far I needed to go. So now I just default to going as low as I possibly can, because those red ones are a, ma are a nightmare. Alright, though, but we got our coin, most of our coins back, so we're good. Uh, turn number? Eight. Okay, three more turns. We're good. Get, keep getting some small numbers, guys. I need to speed up the episode. Peach, visit Bowser. Visit Bowser. Visit Bowser. Visit Bowser. Damn it. Okay, well, she's definitely going to be stealing coins from me. Thankfully speaking, she cannot afford to steal one of my stars. Yet. I guess that's the key word. Yeah. That's the dreaded word. Yet. Oh, damn it. You know what? It's my fault. I shouldn't be getting distracted with my goddamn iPad. Uh, that's usually what I get. how I get in Mario Party. It's just, you know, getting distracted. I, t I multitask when I play games like these. You should never play a game of Fortune Street with me, or else I will never fa I will never be able to pay attention to that. Oh, oh, that's bad. That's bad. Although I have to remember. Oh, that is so bad. This. Okay. No, I'm not. I am not getting the amount of points I need to win this. That. That whole bottom section is terrible. Uh, yeah. Not winning this. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, blessed. Again, it's not a matter of whether I do the best. It's all I have to do is get over 85. And I just narrowly squeaked that one out. Works for me. I don't care. That's a, that's a blessful minigame where you don't have to be good. You don't have to be the best. You just have to be good enough. And good enough is my whole game. Let's go. Overtake Mario. He can afford the star, though, so that's... Ooh, Peach was so close. Peach was so close to stealing my star. 
Damn. Oh, man. He just made that one. He just got what he needed. It's okay, though. I'm not too concerned about what the uh, CPUs are doing, so long as it's... In I don't care at their gains. I care about them possibly getting in the way of my gains. That's what I'm concerned about. Oh, now it's all the way over there. I'm not rich enough to risk those shortcuts, really. Maybe if I had over 100. Alright, Peach, take some money. At least take three. I can leave, leave me with a flat 60. Take my blue coin, blue, blue space money. That works too. I'll accept that. Alright, but I have to be careful. She can go for the steel strong enough. Ah. I might be losing some more money here. It's okay, as long as they can't steal my star, I'm okay. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure the CPU's difficulty will definitely be more noticeable in Mario Party. Oh my goodness, you got 10. Not sure if I like that. My grade 3 will definitely be noticeable on the difficulty scale. I've noticed that. CPU's target you. I feel like the only way they won't target you is if you literally have absolutely nothing. But, I don't know. I'll replay this one again. The upside. Oh, we haven't played this layout yet. This is an easy new record. I mean, if I don't wipe, if I don't actually pay attention and play the game. Uh, the pros to this game of having only 50 minigames is that I get to see a lot of my favorites. The downside is we just see a lot of repeats. Oh, come on, Yoshi. New record, 22 seconds, let's go. Not hard, it's not a hard track at all. Mm. Popcorn. I love popcorn. Alright, Koopa Troopa. Thank you for supporting my finances. You're a good man. Turtle. You're a good man, Turtle. Or Turtle Man, I guess? Hmm. You know what? There's a shortcut I might definitely take. It's definitely quicker to the start. I just have to go with Mar I get that with Mario. I doubt it. Mario's on a roll, but... Everyone's getting in a dangerous position with money except for Mario, but Mario's got a star. Hmm. Ooh. I guess uh, this might be a last turn. I wasn't paying attention there. Alright, I'll check turn after this. And we'll probably see you next time. But, obviously, I gotta finish this minigame first. Okay, as quick as possible. <laughs> no resistance! Suckers. There we go. I actually think we're perfect on point. If it says next, if it says last ten turns, then, then I don't know. In any case, good shot, good going, got money. Uh, yep. Yeah. That's that'll do it for this episode. So tune in the next time, where things will probably get a lot more exciting, a lot more chaotic, just like last time. Hopefully. I'll see you guys then.